Hey everyone, got another pinball machine in here and I have not even turned it on. This is Gottlieb Sinbad EM version. I just recently repaired the solid state version, so this be interesting to compare it. But I said I have not turned this on yet. Owner said it tilted and it would not work anymore, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. So let me go ahead, plug it in and see what it's doing. Plugged it on, turned it on, tried starting a game, and I get nothing. So, first thing I would probably do is, you know, is there credits in the game? Yes. Um, I imagine the start button's working. That might be the next thing to look at. Um, probably go back, look at the credit unit, make sure that credit switch is closed. Uh, from there, I might just hit a coin or start relay, whichever one's down in the box, and I'll look here in a second. And move back here to the credit unit and just looking at it. And if I advance, I'm just trying to check these switches. I can't really get a good view of it. But I notice if I decrement, uh, the game started to reset. All the scores reset. The player one was the only one scores, but it's at zero now. But I uh, hit the start button, still not getting it. So I think I need to take this out and investigate this a little bit more here. Let's go ahead and look at the um, schematic here of the subtract replay unit. And what's going on here is if the subtract replay unit is going to engage, it's got to have a complete path all the way from the transformer back to the transformer. And I drew up just the circuit here of that. Anytime you're doing the alligator test lead, uh, make sure you have the fuse part of the circuit. So I took a point right here. And the replay button was really easy to get to. So I just jumpered from here to here. And what it looks like is the following diagram here. What this does is eliminates all of these switches over here. So my alligator clips here on the fuse all the way to the replay button. If I press the replay button and make sure there's credits on the game and that this is closed, this subtract replay unit should engage. And when I did this, it did engage. And so what that told me is all of these switches were good here. And what I could do then is just keep splitting up the circuit. I could go to the anti-cheat and then see, does the coil still fire? If so, all of these switches are good. If not, then I need to investigate down here. And once I did this, I kind of narrowed it down to this U relay and also the AX relay. One thing I noticed when I'm trying to get the start button to work is if the coin unit was in the fourth position, let me just advance it some, this would go ahead and start the game, but if this was not in the fourth position, say there, I couldn't start a game. And this led me to look at, basically there's a U switch, and I looked at the U relay and kind of figured out maybe what's going on here. So if I look at the U relay and there's a... Another clue, when I hit the second coin switch, um, it would activate, but the coin unit wouldn't decrement, which it should, and that was another U switch. So I pulled out the U relay here, and I think we have a problem here. So one thing I noticed is this bottom switch is misadjusted. It's permanently close and you know, I guess the second one in the middle there is opening up but what I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to pull this board there's three screws that I'm going to unscrew and I can bring this up and work on it a little bit more comfortably and at the same time I'm going to go through all these relays and double check and see if there's any other surprises like that I'll look at the score motor and I'll just give it a good look over and make sure everything's good while I replace that coil that was bad on the U relay. Here I pulled out the bottom panel again. It was just the uh, three screws and then there were two bolts, one here and one over here. Um, disconnected everything in the front, so the coin door, uh, power buttons over here along with um, flipper switches and knocker. It's kind of the same thing on the other side, but once I did that I pulled it out uh, went through all the relays, found a couple of switches that needed adjusted and cleaned, so I went ahead and did that. Um, the 
U is burnt, I just removed it. And also noticing the next one beside it, which I believe is Q, the game over relay, is pretty toasty too, so I'm going to replace that. Um, I need to order parts, so I will do that. And as I do that, I'll probably go to the play field to clean that up, re-rubber it as I'm waiting for parts. I'll give this a final vacuum once I'm done, but it's getting there. Here I'm starting to go through and taking apart the play field and re-rubbering it and we'll clean it. Uh, one thing I do is just use a cordless screwdriver. So I can go here. Take that out. And then the other nice thing about this is if I take the flathead out, I now have a one-fourth driver and that gets these posts so I can just come right here and lift that up. So fairly easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and once I'm done I'll clean it up and re-rubber it and make it look good. Check light bulbs also. Here I removed the play field on the bottom panel and what I did is just vacuum this out but uh, one thing, the legs were having problems screwing into the T-nuts. Um, the game had, you know, these on the back side and just makes it a pain. So what I'm doing is just replacing these T-nuts here. Um, I got some new ones at Pinball Resource here. And I'll go ahead and do that top left one here and that will be it. And just waiting for the coil to come in and go back to the bottom panel once that's done. But Figured this needed done and it was a good time to do it since the bottom panel was already out. And one trick I learned here from Mark G is take a candle and just run this through the bolts. Other thing I did is I did re-thread these bolts and now they go in a lot smoother here. And now screwing this in, now this should be, if it's not binding, just finger tight here. And so much better than before when I had to reach in. Uh, make sure the bolt was attached and everything. I'm about to plug in the game and just want to share maybe a couple tips back here. One thing when I'm troubleshooting a game, I always run the power cord through the hole and not through the neck here. That way if I need to pull the bottom panel, I can just um, take the cord out and not have to move the head. Other tip I do, um, I just take a pencil and just mark where it's lined up and now next time when I take off the head I got a visual to line it up that makes it a lot easier uh, if people don't like it it's easy enough to erase or just wipe off but I always like this if I work on it it makes it a lot easier to line it up but games plugged in um, let's go ahead powered on here I did put on a few scores just to kind of show. And so game does have power. Go ahead, hit the credit button, see what happens here. So showing some signs of life. Um, I've been playing it on and off and it's been doing different things. So I need to investigate a little bit more. Let me open it up here. And in here, the AX relay I noticed is giving me a little problems. I need to adjust that. But um, let's say I coin up a game and hit the start relay. Nothing's happening yet. And so I want to pull in the AX relay. This is the restart. So something's not pulling the AX relay. Other thing I noticed, I'm hitting the flipper button here. No flippers going. If I come up here, hit the out hole, that is firing. So something's telling me that I'm not getting power north of the out hole here. Also, if I hit this, this will move the next ball over. And one thing I noticed is it's back to this AX relay. If I just barely put a little pressure on this, you can hear a click. And now when I hit the flip, 
I get power. So I need to adjust this switch. I probably need to double check this. Also maybe look and see why that AX relay isn't firing when I start a game. But um, game's showing signs of life, so it's getting there. So keep you updated here. Hi everyone. Today I got a Gottlieb 1978 Sinbad, the AM version. Just want to go over some of the rules and maybe gameplay a little bit and just kind of show it off a little bit. Not a game I see too often. I've seen the solid state ones a number of times, but this is the first time I've seen the EM version. So I said, let me go through some rules here and then I'll give it a play. Uh, first thing, start the game. Kind of the main rules, and I turn the bells off just so uh, not as loud, is get the drop targets. I believe this is the white drop target, even though it's yellow. Uh, this is one by itself, so if I get this, it's going to light the one on the right for a thousand. Also going to light uh, the bullseye over here for a thousand, and up here in the top right for a thousand. Uh, next one, I think it's the red, maybe, or yellow. And get that, we'll light the light, and this alternates. So if I hit a pop bumper, now this is lit for 5,000. And it's going to alternate the out lanes. Well, that out lane there, along with those two. Get a little bit higher up. Uh, next one is the purple. If I get these three down, lights extra ball. Also, when these three sets are all down, it lights double bonus here. And this says, again, lights extra ball here. So if I alternate the pop bumper, I now have the three on the right lit. And last thing, uh, the four bank target up here, I believe these are the red. Uh, we'll light the special and that alternates. Should alternate here. I'm trying to think of something else here. There it goes. Must be a loose ball, but I gotta double check that. But that's kind of the main part of the game. The other things are the bonus ladder here. Each time you hit a drop target, it's gonna go up. Another way to advance it is this kind of swirl here. If I hit the spinner, it's going to advance if I get one more. There you hear the uh, bonus advance, so now I'm up to 11,000. The other way to advance that green are the star rollovers here. One more. And now I'm at uh, 1,200. So pretty basic rules, not too tough. So let me go ahead, I'll play a game here and you can see it in action. Go ahead and start the game here. I did put the bells back on and see how I do. It's set up for five ball right now. So my goal is probably trying to get these bottom drop targets here.
another not good game from me. Usually I do better. So uh, one thing, little dip there, uh, just needs to probably level it out a little bit more, but it's just set up here in my shop. It's not um, leveled or anything, but there you have it. 1978 Gottlieb Sinbad EM version.